Hej, jeg er Kun, og i dag vil jeg give dig en entry af Norway at Eurovision 2022, Subwoofer med the song Give That Wolf a Banana. Norway picked their Eurovision entry with the national final melody Grand Prix again. This national final consisted out of five shows before a grand final, and in a grand final there were already five pre-qualified entries. And one of those pre-qualified entries was Subwoofer with Give That Wolf a Banana, which is the song that won in the end. It is rumored that the guys behind Subwoofer are the guys from Ilvis, you know, that duo that's I think best known for their hits What Does the Fox Say? The signs are all there. I mean, funny song about an animal. The voices sound the same, they're from Norway, they're a duo, they really want to keep their identity secrets. I, I kind of feel like it's, it's very possible that Ilvis is behind Subwoofer. They also released a romantic version of Give That Wolf a Banana called Give That Wolf a Romantic Banana. Look, the thing with Give That Wolf a Banana is that it's obviously a joke entry, a novelty act, but it's also a really good song, I think. Like, the lyrics don't make sense, they're kind of silly, I mean, look at the them, but I think the beat is so fun and it really stays in your head after listening to it like only once Which is of course a good thing at your vision once I've listened to it I can't get it out of my head I also really like the entry death of us by Elsie Bay in the Norwegian national final Which was also one of the entries that was pre-qualified to the grand final of Melody Grand Prix, but she didn't win You know what I don't get why do they have five full live shows before the grand final with five pre-qualified entries when the pre-qualified entries entries are going to win anyway. Like, I, I kind of do get why they do that, because they of course want high viewing figures, but still. It kind of seems like a lot of effort for something that can be done way more efficiently. You know what I mean? I mean, that's also what happened last year. But, you know, this isn't a complaint. You don't see me complaining, because I think it's nice to have new songs every week. I know that a lot of people really dislike Norway's entry this year, because they think it'll damage Eurovision's career. Like, they're scared that that it'll bring the reputation back to it's always the crazier the better and it's always the weird ones that are going to do well but I don't think that's the case I don't think we have to be that worried about that I mean look there's 40 entries and only one entry which is this entry is an actual obvious joke entry sure there are more songs that are fun or have jokes in them but aren't necessarily a joke entry if you know what I mean you know the difference Only only Norway's entry is an actual joke entry, like it's a whole act. Just to be clear, I mean that in the sense that these were characters that were made for this song and entry. I think that Norway will do well this year. I mean, there's no other entry this year that's like them, that you can compare to them. The song is fun and catchy and funny, and I feel like this can do really well in the televote. I think Norway could end up in the top 5 for the televote in the grand final. Of Norway being a winner, I'm not so sure but top 5 of the televote sounds pretty realistic to me. So to conclude, I think Norway has a fun joke entry, which I think will do pretty well. I don't think Norway's entry and potential success will harm Eurovision's reputation this year, because they're basically the only actual joke entry this year. And also, you don't have to take everything so serious all the time. We literally are living on a floating rock, so. And Subwoofer are claiming they came from a different floating rock, the moon, just so you know. And that's basically all for now. What do you think of Norway's song let me know in the comment section down below if you like this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching and hopefully until next time harder